and for the people of Vihiga. Akisa, this conference brings on board both the public and the private investors in Western Region to be specific here in Vihiga County. And we, as you have already noted, is the first and the only investment forum to ever happen here in Vihiga County. And it was opened officially by the CS for Devolution, Eugene Wamalwa, together with the host, uh, the governor of Vihiga County. But apart from that, also we have seen it uh, bringing on board even the locals who most of the time are sidelined during investment forums and even during uh, entrepreneurship uh, forums where locals and even the stakeholders are brought on board to discuss a few challenges and even the ways to move forward in terms of making the county more economically viable and also making sure that this county of Vihiga goes ahead and creates a lot of income from the local resources. As uh, during the launching we were notified that this county has the largest deposit of granite stones. This is one of them and this is just an example that uh, the city for devolution has noted officially they'll be going to develop and invest so much money in terms of harvesting granite stones here in Vihiga County but apart from that also they are going to input a lot of money in construction of a, fa a factory or an industry that will be mining this kind of ore and making sure that it creates a lot of revenue for the people of Vihiga County but I don't want to speak a lot because we have the host here governor is your time maybe you can tell us why did you decide to come up with such kind of a forum Thank you very much. Uh, we decided to come up with this forum because Vihiga has a lot of opportunities. It's a small county and many people think that we have no resources. They look at our stones as a curse, but as you have heard, these stones are a treasure. So we decided to have this first Vihiga investment uh, conference to showcase what is available in Vihiga. And uh, from uh, this morning, and we have gone around through the exhibition. You can see that Vega is rich and we have so many opportunities. It's only that we have been not been show, showcasing the, uh, the opportunities. We have not brought the investors, but now the investors are here. And I'm very grateful to the, uh, to the cabinet secretary, Honorable Eugene Wamalwa, uh, Minister for Devolution, for coming. Because he has been with us here since the morning. And what we have seen here, is very good and now we can see that Vihiga has a future and particularly the creation of jobs for the youth. Bona Governor, maybe apart from the stones that we have seen also there are major source of income here, maybe other sources of income, maybe is it agriculture, is it dairy, where you think you are going to invest more? We have a lot of opportunities in agribusiness and if you go around here this exhibition you will see a lot of agribusiness value addition. We have a lot of value addition on many, on many products, uh, fruits we can have here, fresh fruits being prepared right here if you go to the exhibition there. We have um, a lot of um, a, a value addition on dairy products. So uh, agribusiness is doing very well. We have also in manufacturing, just in, in front of us, you can see there's a lot of fabrication uh, of many, many products. Uh, you know, energy saving GCOs, they're all over the place. Uh, we have even traditional medicine, which is being, uh, there's a lot of value addition being done to it. And the Vihiga is well known for traditional medicine and the traditional vegetables. Thank you so much. I'll come back to you in a moment. Let's speak to the CS for devolution. Why are you here? And do you think this is the right way that all the different counties should go in terms of improving investment? Yes, I'm uh, very pleased to be back in Western. We recently hosted uh, the fifth devolution conference here. And uh, what we have seen today is the excitement uh, in terms of opportunities and great potential that uh, is right here in Vihiga County and in the Western region. Amongst the areas that uh, we noticed during the Devolution Conference is a shortage of hotels. And there is huge uh, potential here and uh, we're encouraging people to uh, seize the opportunity and uh, build more hotels in this region uh, so that uh, we can tap into uh, the, the, the market. But also mainly why I'm here as uh, the minister in charge of uh, devolution is because of the Big Four agenda. And this Big Four agenda will be realized in the counties. So we want to work very closely with counties so that we see how we can uh, ensure we succeed in, uh, in, in achieving the Big Four amongst them. We have housing. I'm very pleased that at this conference, already uh, Governor Otichilo 
has set aside land from the county where we will be constructing 2,000 houses. Already he has signed the MOU with my colleague uh, C.S. Macharia, and that is already underway. We are also looking at manufacturing, the issue of a granite factory. Uh, we will be coming back here soon with my colleague uh, C.S. Munez to now uh, work on the issue of uh, setting up a granite factory here. Uh, Vihiga is blessed. It has one of uh, the highest quality granite uh, deposits. So we want to see how this can be uh, created to create employment, to also uh, ensure that uh, we have our factories here. The last issue is the issue of food security. We are working very, very closely uh, with uh, the county government. We have ensured that as national government, uh, we, are, we are going to help with the infrastructure, the water infrastructure. We have about a 1.8 billion uh, shilling project here, where we will triple the water supply uh, across uh, Vihiga County and ensure there is enough water for domestic use. And also we want to encourage irrigation. So this is one area that we are partnering. And uh, coming to this conference, I am very, very pleased that Vihiga has hosted uh, its first investment conference, and I would like to be back here uh, again next year. We would like it to be an annual event. Yes. Before I let you go, uh, Bonasias, and maybe the governor will speak about it, uh, we have seen the government launch the new uh, tourism blueprint, uh, which is showcasing different tourist attractions in the whole country. Western region has a lot of these tourist attractions yes. that have been neglected. And maybe what are you going to do, especially to make sure that all the tourist attractions in all counties are now more known to the public? I think, first of all, is to uh, just uh, enlighten uh, investors that... Uh, uh, the Western uh, tourism circuit uh, has great potential. And uh, looking at uh, some of the uh, partners who are here, you have TFC, the, the Tourism Finance Corporation, uh, would like to see uh, this sector developed, would like to see uh, more tourists coming here. There are sites that need to be preserved, would like to see the county governments work closely with the national government to promote local tourism. So this is one area that we want to uh, tap into, and we believe there is, uh, there is huge potential, actually. Thank you so Thank much, CS. For gender equality, let me finish by a lady here. You can tell us your name. Have you benefited so far from today's forum? Thank you. My name is Hasnam Daisy. I'm the speaker of this county, the county of Uhiga. I must say I am pretty proud of this county and the leadership of uh, the, His Excellency the Governor. This is a, it's a very, very, very good uh, start for us, being the first investment conference held in our county. So for us as an assembly, we, we are here to throw in our support and confirm and, 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 and assure the governor that we are behind support of his agenda. Thank you. Just one one gentleman, time is not on our side. Thank you. My name is Gabriel Rugalem. I'm the FAO representative um, uh, here in Kenya, uh, so I work for the United Nations. Uh, great to be here. First of all, congratulations to the uh, governor and his team for putting this um, exhibition together. So um, here is um, a statement from the United Nations that we support and we are keen to see these kind of um, investments, investment that creates jobs, that creates wealth, and, and food security. Thank you so much. Because of time, I'll cut you short. But Akisa, as you can see, it is a new moment here in Western Region, especially Vihiga County, after they launched their first and only investment forum that so far has brought a large number of investors, both from the public and even from the private sector, Akisa. Willie Lusige, for us there at the Vihiga County Investment uh, Conference that leaders are hoping will be an annual event. And this is definitely the inaugural one. Let's move to Cups a bit where different women leaders